Today, former President Donald Trump is set to arrive in Washington, D.C. for his third arraignment. Capitol Police and Metropolitan Police are ramping up security as a result. Trump faces four criminal counts in special counsel Jack Smith's investigation into his alleged attempts to overturn his 2020 election loss and his actions surrounding the January 6th Capitol riots. ABC's Justin Finch has the details. Outside D.C. District Court, security barriers in place for an historic third arraignment in just four months for former President Donald Trump. In the shadow of the U.S. Capitol site of the deadly January 6th insurrection, the former president is set to appear in federal court and enter a plea to charges from special counsel Jack Smith that he was leading a conspiracy to overturn the results of the 2020 election that culminated in the attack on the Capitol on January 6th. It was fueled by lies. Lies by the defendant. Smith alleging Trump knew he lost the election, but was determined to remain in power and that Trump knowingly spread lies about election fraud. Smith also focusing on Trump's actions, claiming he pressured then Vice President Mike Pence to reject the electoral vote certified by Congress. Pence refused. I want the American people to know that I had no right to overturn the election. Federal prosecutors arguing Trump was repeatedly told by his White House counsel and Republican state and federal officials that his election fraud claims were false. Trump's attorney refuting the latest charges on CNN. This is an attack on free speech and political advocacy, and there's nothing that's more protected under the First Amendment. Trump's former attorney general rejecting that defense argument. All conspiracies involve speech and all fraud involves speech. So, uh, you know, free speech doesn't give you the right to engage in a fraudulent conspiracy. A U.S. Marshal spokesperson tells ABC News that Trump will not be handcuffed and will not have his mugshot taken, but will have his fingerprint scanned. And while there is heavy security around the courthouse, authorities say there have been no credible threats. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. So let's talk about what happens once the former president is in the court building and out of the view of cameras. Experts say it's a simple and quick process that's expected to last about an hour. Trump will enter a plea, then both sides and the judge will talk about bond terms and when the defense will see the prosecution's evidence. Finally, they'll discuss a trial date. Now, all of this expected to happen around 4 this afternoon. We'll have coverage on air and online and streaming 24-7 on the 13 News Now Plus app. That is free on Roku and Amazon Fire TV. You can download it now to stay up to date.